Atlassian is always making changes to Jira and today we're going to be looking at a new feature and we're going to be talking about is this feature exciting or is it dangerous? If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out the links down below as I have links to my merch, my brand new book that just got published and every other way that you can help support this channel. Let's jump into it. This video is sponsored by NASA, not another stand-up app. Detecting and unblocking issues has never been easier with the flag issues feature. Keep your projects moving forward. All right, so Jira is always changing, right? And Atlassian recently made a change that allows you to essentially, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. This is why I wanted to talk about this with you, right? But here's what the feature is. From your backlog inside of Jira, you can now bulk edit the statuses of issues. Normally, once you plan your sprint, your team will be in the active sprint board and it's up to them to move things from left to right. Everybody knows that if you've ever used Jira, right? But this functionality essentially allows you to, in the backlog, whether you're in the sprint view up here or down here at the backlog level, it allows you to bulk edit, or I should say bulk transition, your statuses. And this is kind of where I want to talk about, is this exciting or is this dangerous? Because from an exciting perspective, any time that you can cut time, that's really good, right? So instead of having to manually transition story by story, one by one, this is an exciting feature because now we can take a collection of stories, three, four, five, ten stories, whatever we want, and maybe even using some combination of quick filters, be able to bulk transition those stories. And that's exciting because it allows us to save time. Awesome, two thumbs up. But this is also very dangerous because in a scrum team, the onus of updating the statuses is on the individual, right? It's the individual's responsibility as they enter this commitment with your scrum team to be accountable and not only do the work, but also do the homework, which is update your statuses. And so it could be dangerous if your team starts depending on someone else to do a bulk edit. So my conclusion would be this functionality that I'm about to show you and how it works, it should be reserved for extreme moments. I think this functionality is more dangerous than it is exciting. And I would keep this feature kind of like up my sleeve as a trick if I ever need it. But this is not behavior that I would want to evangelize to my teams because I think it could take you down this interesting path that you and your team might not want to go down. So that's my, is it exciting or is it dangerous analysis? Now let's jump into how do we actually do this? So in the backlog, I'm just going to expand my sprint one more time up here. And let's just say that we want to update these four statuses. Again, traditionally, we would go over here, find set statuses and move them over to the appropriate column. But we don't want to do that because let's just say we want to do these top four, well, there's no way to like select them all, right? There's like no shift down arrow or something like that. And I can't, if I move it up and down, if I click and hold, all I'm going to do is re-rank the story and I don't want to do that either. So in the backlog view, I can now select those four stories over here and you would be tempted. You would be tempted to come over here to the right and hit the drop down and transition it. And my friends, that would be the incorrect way of doing this because if you do that, and I'm going to show you in a second here, it only transitions the very first one that you selected. So we don't want to do that. We're going to put that back to do. So instead, what you need to be do looking for is, and I'm going to zoom in here because it is a little hard to see, right? When you do select multiple stories, you're going to see this text over here that says four selected. And this is the new bit. You have an edit field. And when you click on that, it's going to give you two options. We can either bulk edit fields, we'll say that for another video, or we can bulk transition the status. So I'm going to click on that. And now this is going to basically tell me, all right, what status do you want to go to? And so I'm going to go, all right, we're just going to move all of these to accepted. And you have the option to send a notification to the folks that are going to be affected by this bulk change. I never do. I just don't like blowing up people's mailboxes, but you do you. And I'm going to click submit. And so once I do that, you'll notice that all four of those automatically got updated to accepted. And if I go back to my active sprint, those four items are in an accepted status way over here now. And again, that's the feature, that's how it works, but really 
the hard question you should be asking, is this an exciting new feature or is this a dangerous new feature, right? Because I honestly think that your teams, if you start introducing this behavior, and I think it's more dangerous if like your scrum master is doing it on behalf of your teams. I think it just introduces a behavior of dependencies onto that scrum master. It's going to add additional work. And I would, I would reserve this functionality for like desperate moments where a bunch of stories are clearly out of date because your team didn't do their homework. They didn't update their statuses as they were supposed to. And now you just trying to catch the sprint up with reality. So this is the time that I would do it because it will save you time then. But I wouldn't let this cat out of the bag and tell everybody like, hey, stop updating your statuses because now I can do them in bulk, right? This is not, I, that would be a dangerous territory to be in. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, just make sure you smash that like button. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, what are you waiting for? It just takes a second. It's completely free. Just smash the subscribe button. And if you're dying to get your hands on my book, check out that link in the description down below. There's a link tree that will take you to the book. It'll take you to the merch store. It'll take you to my paid courses, free courses and all the other stuff that I have available for you to help you support this channel. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Special thanks to the Not Another Standup app for sponsoring this video. Take back control of your standups and drive your team success with this powerful Jura app.